Jury convicts Hunter Biden on three gun charges. Joe Biden accepts the verdict, respects judicial process. Today is June 十一二零二四 Hunter Biden has been convicted on three serious gun charges by a jury. President Joe Biden has accepted the outcome of the case and expressed respect for the judicial process. He also stated that he will not use presidential powers to grant his son immunity. The charges against Hunter Biden are related to his 2018 purchase of a revolver. Prosecutors alleged that the president's son lied on the required gun purchase form, claiming he was not an illegal drug user or addicted to drugs. In reality, he was an active drug user at the time. Hunter Biden illegally possessed the gun for 11 days. And now faces a maximum sentence of 25 years in prison. The jury, consisting of Sharmi Ambers, unanimously found him guilty. A juror told the BBC shortly after the verdict that it was important to separate the facts of the case from family ties. All Shar jurors agreed that there were no political motives influencing their decision. They based their judgment solely on the facts. This verdict has been welcomed by congressional Republicans who have been investigating Hunter Biden for years. Meanwhile, Democrats insist that this will not affect President Biden's re-election campaign. The trial took place in Delaware, Biden's home state, in a federal court presided over by a judge appointed during Donald Trump's presidency. The prosecutor is from the current Justice Department. Headed by Biden's administration, despite these seemingly conflicting interests, the jury from Delaware, a state with a long-standing Democratic dominance and deep Biden influence, unanimously found Hunter guilty. This underscores the independence of the American judiciary. The conviction reveals a higher level of judicial integrity in the United States. Even in a state where Biden's influence is profound, justice prevails without political interference. This is a testament to the strength of American democracy, contrary to what many might expect in countries where judicial systems are often manipulated by political powers. The American legal system remains steadfast. In many nations, high-profile cases often end in quid pro quo arrangements among powerful figures. However, in the United States, this case exemplifies the principle that no one, regardless of their power or position, is above the law. The charges against Hunter Biden are technically minor, related to lying on a gun purchase form, but carry significant legal consequences. Up to 25 years in prison, many ordinary citizens might commit similar offenses, such as minor traffic violations, without facing such severe penalties. The scrutiny Hunter Biden faced is due to his high-profile status. Yet, despite the involvement of Biden's Justice Department, the Delaware jury reached a unanimous guilty verdict, highlighting the unbiased nature of the process. This case is a clear demonstration of the separation between personal and legal matters. President Biden's acceptance of the verdict. And his respect for the judicial process stand in stark contrast to former President Trump's responses to his own legal troubles. Trump often claimed political persecution and corruption within the judiciary, while Biden's stance upholds the integrity of the legal system. This verdict sends a powerful message about the strength of American institutions. The case's outcome is a victory for the rule of law. And underscores that the American judiciary is resilient and independent, capable of rendering fair judgments free from political influence. The implications of this case extend beyond the immediate legal outcomes. For Hunter Biden, they highlight the robustness of American democracy and the fundamental principle that the judiciary should operate independently from political pressures. This principle is crucial for maintaining public confidence in the fairness and impartiality of the legal system. The integrity of the American judiciary is particularly noteworthy when contrasted with other countries where political interference is commonplace.
For instance, in China and Russia, judicial processes are often manipulated by those in power, eroding public trust and undermining the rule of law. This case exemplifies how the American legal system can operate independently, even when high-profile individuals are involved. The independence of the judiciary is the cornerstone of American democracy. It ensures that all individuals, regardless of their status, are subject to the same laws and judicial processes. This case serves as a reminder of the importance of maintaining a fair and impartial legal system, which is essential for the health and stability of any democratic society. In conclusion, Hunter Biden's conviction is a significant event that underscores the strength and integrity of the American judicial system, highlights the importance of judicial independence and the rule of law in maintaining a fair and just society. President Biden's acceptance of the verdict and his respect for the judicial process further reinforce the principles of democracy and the importance of upholding the rule of law. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel. This case serves as a powerful example of how the American judicial system operates independently of political influence. Despite the high-profile nature of the case and the significant political connections involved, the jury's unanimous verdict demonstrates the fairness and impartiality of the legal process. This is a testament to the strength and resilience of American democracy. The case also highlights the importance of maintaining public confidence in the judicial system. When people believe that the judiciary operates fairly and independently, they are more likely to trust and respect the outcomes of legal proceedings. This trust is essential for maintaining social stability and ensuring that the rule of law is upheld. Moreover, the case underscores the critical role that juries play in the American legal system. As representatives of the community, jurors bring diverse perspectives and experiences to the deliberation process, helping to ensure that verdicts are fair and just. The unanimity of the jury's decision in this case is a powerful affirmation of the strength and integrity of the jury system. In the broader context, this case illustrates the ongoing challenges and complexities of maintaining judicial independence in a politically charged environment. It serves as a reminder that the principles of justice and fairness must be vigilantly defended, even in the face of powerful political pressures. Ultimately, Hunter Biden's conviction is more than just a legal decision. It is a reaffirmation of the values and principles that underpin the American legal system. It demonstrates that, despite the challenges and the complexities of contemporary politics, the judiciary remains a robust and independent institution capable of delivering justice without fear or favor. As we continue to navigate the complexities of modern society, it is essential to remember the importance of judicial independence and the rule of law. These principles are the bedrock of any democratic society and must be upheld to ensure fairness justice and equality for all. In reflecting on this case, it is also important to recognize the broader implications for the future of American democracy. The ability of the judiciary to operate independently and deliver fair and impartial verdicts is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the legal system and ensuring that justice is served. This case is a powerful reminder of the importance of defending and upholding the principles of judicial independence and the rule of law. It serves as a beacon of hope for those who believe in the power of justice and the resilience of democratic institutions. In conclusion, Hunter Biden's conviction on gun charges is a significant event that highlights the strength and integrity of the American judicial system. It underscores the importance of maintaining judicial independence and the rule of law in ensuring a fair and just society. President Biden's acceptance of the verdict 
and his respect for the judicial process further reinforce the principles of democracy and the importance of upholding the rule of law.